you, that'd be great. We mentioned earlier that you bought a place in Dallas this year, in Uptown Dallas. A lot of the guys like to buy places on golf courses, but you are determined that you want to get away from golf when you're having a week off. Definitely. I mean, my friends and my family know if if I'm not on the golf course, I'm having fun, and I, I do. I don't. I don't uh, bring my uh, play into my work. You know, when I'm when I'm playing tournaments, I, I usually stay in my hotel room and lay low and watch some movies. And um, when I'm in my weeks off, I like to get away from it totally. It's you know, when you're playing sport this amount and uh, every day, and it's mentally, it's pretty much the whole part of your life. You you need a good balance, and for me, it's totally get away from it. And uh, it's like any sport, any sport athlete. I think it's it, well, it's different for uh, different for different people. So some guys are golf nerds; they want to be on the golf course every day. And me, I as soon as I had knocked that last putt in on the last hole, and it's my week off, I want to go out and enjoy time with mates. So you know, have a couple beers and do any, anything a normal twenty-seven-year-old single guy would do. So it's I think for me personally, what works is a good balance, and you know, that's getting away from golf when you're not playing. And Dallas is a good base for you. Oh, sensational! Dallas is—it's uh, everything that I want in a in a home. I want to, as I said, I want to be away from a golf course. It's close to the airport. It's close to downtown. It's got a lot of beautiful restaurants and uh, good little cool, funky bars, and um, they're all walking distance. I'm not going to get in too much trouble. And it's it fit. It you know, it's one of those things. When I bought my house, I was sort of wondering, oh, did I buy it too quick? Should I have looked around more? But I really know now it's uh, it's a good home for me. You are a bit of a homebody, aren't you? We're talking to you the week of the New South Wales Open. You could easily have stayed up here in the Hunter Valley, but you chose to stay at home with mum to experience a bit of home cooking. I suppose to spend time with mum's good and the family's good because you don't get a lot of chance during the course of the year, but the home cooking's probably pretty good as well. Oh, definitely. I mean, being in America, you're always eating out. So, And whenever I cook meals, they're not even close to mum's. They just don't taste as good. So. <laughs> Uh, if obviously being this week New South Wales Open, I want to stay close to um, being close to the tournament. I want to stay at home, and um, I'm only a 45 minute drive away. I get to stay with mum, and I don't see my family for for about 10 months of the year. So really, it's every in that two months of being back home, even though there's tournaments involved, I want to spend as much time as possible with my family. So uh, dad lives a mile away or a k away and and i stay at mum's and we have the home cooking then i go for dad's for fish and chips and <laughs> it's uh it's it's really good being able to play a golf tournament and sleep in your own bed wanted to talk to you a little bit about a couple of television shows you've been involved with to some extent over the last couple of years firstly the golf channel's big break it was great exposure for you and an opportunity to put yourself in front of cameras and perhaps get a little bit more experience in that situation it was me personally um I was playing all the mini tours. This was about three years ago where I didn't really have much going for me. I was still in that path of trying to get on the PGA Tour. And um, Q School is pretty much the biggest event. So you wait around during the years playing the, the mini tours and trying to get accustomed to American golf. And I got offered a uh, TV sh reality TV show called The Big Break, which short short story would be that it's 12 guys and one guy gets to play in a PGA Tour event. And, you know, it, it's a... Uh, the, the system of one guy gets eliminated every show and you do all golf challenges and different nifty stuff that you wouldn't really do on a golf course. So um, it was free It was free accommodation and food and travel for two weeks for me. So to get exposure on a, PG, uh, a, a golf show, which is um, pretty big in the golf community in America and, and not have to pay expenses for two weeks was definitely a goal for me. And and then the added bonus of having great exposure and maybe winning cash and prizes on the show was was a thrill. So it was uh, a, a great experience. Um, as you said, the exposure was great. And it really puts you in a position where you're not r rarely in on a golf course. So you've got to hit over a wall and you've got to hit break glass windows and you've got a long drive contest. And so and you're out there by yourself you know all the other guys that are competing are back sitting about 200 yards away so you're in front of about 40 cameras and it's a type of nerves that i never never felt on a golf course because you can't get in a rhythm we wait around before the challenges and then you hit one golf shot and you're either going home or you're going to the next show so it was very valuable in um you know trying to put myself in every position to uh try to benefit from my career as a golfer 
and with the nerves that I faced on that show, I mean, you got all my mates watching back home and <laughs> on TV and there, you know if you hit a bad shot, they're going to give it to you. So it, it, was, it was a great show for exposure and feeling type of nerves that uh, you don't really get in a normal common golf tournament. And this year, James, uh, The Bachelor, which is a huge show in the United States, the ABC network approached you and your management to see whether you'd be interested in being involved. You were interested initially, you got down to the last two and made the decision to withdraw it at the last stage. Um, obviously a difficult decision for you, I'd imagine. It was. It um, came out of left field. Uh, my manager contacted me and she said, you've been asked to do The Bachelor. And I'm, you know, this is about four months into my year on the PGA Tour and I'm a nobody and I, well, obviously I'm still a no, not a nobody, I'm not a star. And I'm like, what, what's The Bachelor? And, you know, The Bachelor, she said. And I said, the, the Bachelor in America. And she's like, yeah, and it, it, it's the second most highest rated show in America. And I was blown away. So for the first, you know, at that point I was down to the last three. They, they were calling and trying to create a shortlist. And um, for the first couple of months I was like, yeah, I've got to do this. It's one of those things that never comes up often. And um, it's a, a regret that I wouldn't want to have if I passed the show up. And then I slowly thought about it more and then it got whittled down to me and another guy. And then, you know, my thinking went on for about a month. And, and then, uh, then they told me I, I most likely was going to get the position. And I couldn't stop thinking about it on the golf course at night. I'm like, you know, I'm a single guy. I don't want to get into a relationship. I just got onto a, my, my dream on the PGA Tour and I need to concentrate on that. And you've got to go on and pick a girl that you want to marry or you want to see on this show. And, you know, your whole life's on TV for the world to see because um, they do get it here in Australia. And I didn't want to be one of those faces on a you know, News Weekly or Who magazine and look, James is on the beach with his girlfriend or he's with his mates or something and I wanted my privacy and I don't want to be a reality TV star. I mean, there's plenty of people in Australia and America that want that dream, but that's that's not what I want. And effectively, I made the decision not to do it because I got on the PGA Tour and the exposure that would it would have given me the unwanted exposure I wanted to concentrate and to be a successful golfer. And, you know, maybe five years down the track, I, I might do it. Or, But uh, if I ever went into that line of acting or that line of work, I'd rather do movies and stuff because and, <laughs> that's what I'm interested in and, and not uh, a scripted TV show where you can say one thing and they can make you look like someone else. And So, it, as I said, I thought about doing it and then the, the, the pros and the cons, the cons definitely um, outweigh the pros. and. I, I realise that uh, I don't want to be splashed um, falsely all over magazines and uh, advertisements, and especially when I'm a golfer, and that's what I want to do. Yeah, well, uh, having heard that outline, I'd imagine that you've made the right decision. There's certainly a bigger fresh to fry in the immediate future, at least on the PGA Tour. Definitely, and you know, I would have taken six weeks out of my life, and I would have missed tournaments, and um, a lot of secrecy involved, and. Yeah, so making the decision, I, now I, th I think clear, and now that I'm, I went before I wasn't thinking clear, but when I was deciding to do it, and when I decided not to, it was like a weight lifted off my shoulders, so now that's why I know I made the right decision, and you know, it's not going to interfere with uh, me in my second year on the PGA Tour, where I want to win majors and maybe win some golf tournaments. Just finally, James, uh, you, you're um, playing the New South Wales Open this week. It's a, a tournament that you played last year before you headed off to the final stage of PGA Tour qualifying. These sort of events are just perfect. You would never want to suggest that they're warm-up events, but they provide great opportunities for young Australians, emerging players, to get some tournament experience behind them. Definitely. I mean, I've played the uh, New South Wales Open since I was a 19-year-old, and um, I've played about five or six, and it's it's been a great stepping stone and we've all you always get great crowds and you always get great uh competitors and especially when it's it's your own state open you want to win it and it, it might be a second tier von nighter event but uh it's one of those things where it's a great a great warm-up for the big australian events and i think there's more pressure on me to win a tournament like this than an australian open or australian pga or australian masters so it's one of those things that if you, if you won this, it, it could be sweeter than a bigger event because you've got so much of outside pressure of local people and um, people expecting you do well because you've just come off the PGA Tour and it's a, it's a Von Nider event. But the, the fields are so deep here and especially this week, we've got about four or five PGA Tour players in a Von Nider event. And the way they uh, run this event, it's just like a, a, 
a big event. So it, it really has that, that feel of um, a great tournament and definitely is growing. And this time last year, I was I wanted to prove myself and now I'm here and I've kind of done that a little bit. I, w I want to prove myself again by, you know, I've never won, never won on this tour before. So it's one of those, it'll be very, it's very close to home and a, close to my heart because it, it's one of those things you, as a proving point, but you know, as a, a lot of local spectators and players out here, you want to, uh, you want to do well in front of them. So it's a, uh, it's definitely no, no, just uh, run of the mill tournament. It's, it's a great tournament and one that I've always wanted to win. James Nettys, thanks for your time. Thank you.